so uh, we've had another GGR 22 inch and arrive. Uh, this is our United Nations entry, uh, and I'll let him introduce himself because I call him G. <laughs> so, good day, G. Yeah, oh, hang on, I'll hang on to the mic. Uh, welcome to GGR. Thank you so much. I just uh, thought of something. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, it's a very funny story. G, yeah. you're in the GGR. Oh, yeah. <laughs> G in the GGR. <laughs> Introduce yourself. So, so. Uh, so, my name is Gaurav Shinde, and so I'm, I'm from India, but I yeah. uh, now live in Canada. So we haven't decided which country I'm going to be presenting in the GGR. And so I say, come on, are you yeah. Indian entry or Canadian? And he says, well, you, I can decide. <laughs> I'm not going to decide. So for now, we'll just call it Indian. Indian. Yep. Indian. Okay, yep. cool. And um, and so uh, it's a fantastic story, yes. the whole thing of how uh, you've got this far. Yep. But tell me a bit about what, first of all, no, let's go yeah. straight to the Tommy connection, yep. right? With Abolish Tommy and, yep. and, and your sailing background. Where, where, yes. Tell me your sailing background. So I started sailing as a very young, as a, as a sea cadet corps. Yep. Uh, at the sea cadet corps as a cadet. And I spent four years sailing over there. And yep. that's where I, uh, that's where I took a like really learned seamanship, uh, like all round seamanship. Yeah. And uh, and then I started sailing by myself. One of the first boats I sailed on was uh, a seabird, or uh, it's an open dinghy called yeah. a fallow rope. Yeah. Uh, it's boat built in the same yard as Suheli is built in. Okay, the, uh, this is the real Suheli. The real Suheli. By the way, he saw Bombay. this model, he sees the model of Suheli, yeah. he says, oh, is that for me? <laughs> is that for me? <laughs> anyway, carry on. It's built in Bombay. Yeah. So uh, that's uh, so. That was the first boat I sailed offshore. It was an open dinghy. I Far sold an I sailed an offshore race. Built in the yard from Suhaili, and we won. Hang on, uh, just one question. Yeah. Did you know about the Suhaili story then? Oh yes. Uh, so I, it's big in yeah, India. Yeah, I knew about Suhaili. Uh, Dilip Donde, uh, you know, the first Indian to sail around the world, yeah. was Abhilash's manager. Uh, okay. uh, he was there in the race. I beat him. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> don't tell Dilly. Dilly. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's when I first learned about the something called the circumnavigation. Speaking to Dilip when he was he was building Madai at okay. that time, yeah. um, and that's where it all started. Um, I followed Dilip all the way through. Uh, yeah. When Dilip was coming back, I I was in some other corner of the country. I drove all night to get be there when Dilip arrived. Unreal. And just just on that one, some yeah. of you may remember Dilip help assisting uh, Tommy. Yeah. In this GGR, white bearded guy, you know, another Navy commander. Yep. Is he a commander or? I don't know. Uh, anyway, a serious Navy officer and, and uh, an amazing guy. Incredibly close friends with Sir Robin yes. on Suhaili. They've been close friends for a long time. And Dilip actually sailed on board Suhaili here to the start of the race. Oh, yeah. And they're very close friends. So you're yes. in good company. Yes. <laughs> uh, so And then that's how I met Abhilash. Yeah. Um, and I was helping Abhilash with uh, just some understanding some media things before he was going on his own circumnavigation. But you were helping him not get to understand some things like yeah. how to do a Google Hangouts from the, uh, while he was in the boat, yeah. um, which never happened. But uh, we we spoke about it a lot. Um, and then I met him before he left. Um, I met him after he came back as well. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the thing is, within India, there's very few avenues. Unless you are in the Navy, it's very few avenues for going sailing anywhere. Yeah. Or, or offshore sailing for, uh, like, even bigger because there's no offshore, there's no ocean racing. You're right. Anywhere. And just for those people who just yeah. started watching GGR, yeah. even to build uh, uh, Tommy's boat, I call it Ablish yeah. Tommy, of course, Tommy's boat in India was massive. It was like yes. one of the first boat yachts built and registered and... To, for, to stay in India. Yeah, they didn't have regulations to register. I think a boat is registered as a ship, not yeah. as a yacht. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they couldn't cope with it. They didn't yeah. know what it <laughs> So uh, he had to put up some massive antenna, antennas on his boat because they wouldn't That's what, ships. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they wouldn't <laughs> register his boat there. So it's it's that. And then um, so the, the chance I saw when I was introduced uh, by Dilip, th uh, through Dilip, Robin Knox Johnston, to sail the Clipper. Yeah. And that's how I went in the clipper to sail two legs, uh, uh, did the Pacific crossing. Yeah. It was amazing. So how did you get the funding together to do that? Because the clipper's not cheap. I mean, it's yes. not, not expensive either, yes. but, it, but it's money. I did a crowdfunding campaign. A crowdfunding? And then <laughs> um, I had around $20,000 of, uh, of an anonymous donor. Really? Uh, That's fantastic. Yes. Uh, I know the name of who it is right now, but I can't reveal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, I hope they give it that's, again. That's, that's fantastic. Yes. So, but it was because. So prior to the keelboat stuff, you're all yeah. off the beach dinghy stuff, and you decided you want to do the because the there's no keelboat racing scene. There anymore, is. So. Uh, so after that, so there was because I I was doing so well 
with an open ding game. You're winning everything. Yeah, I was beating like Delhi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, I I sailed with the army for the next race in a their keelboat against uh, the navy. Uh, against the navy, and we beat them again. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that that that's how it kept happening. Um, yeah. I kept getting chances. Did a few deliveries here and there. Kept. I. I I am that kind of person who will find the smallest opportunities to do something and I'll yeah. go and get it done. Yeah. And that's how I've been uh like pursuing my ceiling. It's you get the small opportunities, you go and get it done. Yeah. Like many people will say that Clipper is not really a ceiling race, but no, it, is. it is more right, intense. Yeah. Than, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh it's more intense and then for me coming from India, it's the only place I can get a chance to go ceiling. Yeah, like, I'm not going to get a Volvo entry from India anytime soon. Volvo so. race, yeah, <laughs> Ocean so, race, yeah, <laughs> no. So, Clipper was an amazing yeah. place. I yeah. learned a lot. Uh, it's good on Clipper when you are one of the people who have know more about sailing. You get more opportunities to yeah, do things, yeah, yeah. and you get learn. Uh, yeah, you get to stay on the wheel longer. You get yeah. to see what's happening with the boat. Um, so I observed that and. uh that played a big part and i kept sailing after that okay. um i kept again finding random opportunities to sail in bermuda and big races and keelboat cool. races you know there's a there's quite a rollover from clipper yeah. we we one of our entrants in 22 is a clipper skipper yeah. this for the next edition Ooh. he was a chief mate last yeah. time um he's about to announce it tomorrow so i didn't tell you today yeah. that this guy waits but you know he, he's yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He, you probably i don't know yeah, anyway yeah. so uh, and there's quite a few clipper people looking at the race right at the moment oh, nice. even though we we're 20. Yeah. so so and, okay and then what happened is um i had i i had given up sailing you like, gave it up i gave it up i Why? i went and i did my i did for the education got a job happy life bought a house and then one day randomly <laughs> abhilash comes up and i starts talking to me and he's like why don't you do 2022 and how long ago was that this was in 2017 when he was preparing yeah uh, it's august 2017 i remember that yeah uh, and he's like why don't you do that and then once abhilash has said it i <laughs> I was in it. <laughs> well, um, you and I have had a funny relationship over the last yeah. few years, yep. maybe. E- emails back and forwards and da 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 and then all of a sudden said that's it, I'm going to yeah. do it. I'm going to yeah. be the first entrant and da 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 yeah. and and then uh and then you even send the application in yeah. and then there's the little of a sudden there was a bit of delay got married and stuff yeah, and, yeah. and so there was uh, still yes. challenges to you know make the final decision. Yes, that happened. Um I think after I put in the application the biggest thing was uh my pa- grandparents fell sick and they uh they passed away in yeah. December and yeah. that okay. was a very uh it was few months that went on for and reflection uh, and there yeah. was a lot of yeah reflection yeah. there was a lot of decisions to be made. Yeah. Um I'll taking my mother into confidence while doing the race. So when I did Clipper when I did every other You can race, speak up. It's all right. Your okay, mum's not sorry. listening. It's all right. So, <laughs> so when I Uh, uh, your mum's not listening. It's okay. I did every race in my life. Yeah. I never took anyone's permission while going out. No one knew. When I <laughs> did my first offshore race. Yeah. Uh, we didn't have VHF. Uh, we didn't have VHF, any. No we didn't have nothing. anything. We yeah. didn't have any communication. Just went. Uh, and just went. And my parents didn't know for like two weeks where I was. Uh, <laughs> so this time I was like Golden Globe. I'm yeah. going to ask them. Yes. Uh, take permission. Yeah. uh even if they say no i'm going to go do it anyway but i'm going to take permission oh, oh. and you didn't uh, hear that mom <laughs> and the <laughs> and uh the permission bit happened when it was uh the situation was happening in the family yeah so i just held off yeah uh and uh, then it was again yes and no and when you started counting down saying yeah. there are only 10 left. Well, I had left. to. I mean, I hate doing it. I've been telling it a lot of people look they, the numbers are growing and there's still yeah. about 10 people on the edges that I wanted to come in and now we're, then I had to just go for it because well, good uh, on you. yeah uh that's how I've lived my life that's how it's uh you can make 10 excuses for saying I don't want to yeah. do it I want yeah. to do it but you just do it So what did mum say did she know yet Uh yeah she knows so uh, what did she say she uh, uh she was like even if I say no you're going to do it anyway <laughs> so there's no point uh when you made yeah you know, she said when when I've made up my mind I'm going to do it Yeah. I'm going to find the funding I'm going to f- like make heaven and earth together and care it yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that was that was a yes in a way. Yeah, yeah. So you got married. It's yeah. a family affair with the race. What yeah. happened with your wife and the decision to do the GGR? 
uh she's uh she was not happy yeah okay. uh, but then uh she's now uh, helping yes she's now involved yeah and it's very much a family thing eh? you can't yes. not be involved in some yes. ways you know? uh, and yeah it's it's an all round support from my entire family and my Fantastic. extended family and that's uh uh that's what's getting we're going to get me to the finish line yeah cool and yeah. and Tommy's a bit of a mentor now yes yeah. uh i uh, is he threatening to beat you <laughs> as on the race course in 22 because you're one step ahead of him at the moment yes, you've entered <laughs> yes um he said he's not going to enter oh so, okay <laughs> uh, i hope so yeah I can, only, I can be the only indian yeah, yeah 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 but um he's always going to be there he's he's uh even if he's not formally a manager yeah 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 i think most of the knowledge is going to come from there yeah uh, and hopefully from dilip as well yeah um, oh, i'm so sure they will when the yeah. boat yeah when the boat uh, when the boat comes into the picture and we yeah. start preparing it yeah uh, yeah i i'm sure they are going to be involved yeah yeah uh, and abilash has offered this uh Cool. Uh, services already. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so uh, what do you do in life? Like, like you say, you got a job and a and a business. Like you got a normal job and bought a house and all that stuff. What happened? Yes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I live in Canada now, and uh, I work at a company called 3M. It's the Minnesota mining company, manufacturing company. Uh, so, I have my title over there is search and content leader. it's like a director of marketing kind of thing yeah marketing so uh, you'll be able to promote yeah, yourself so i used to work at google before yeah yeah and yeah. that's why my social media is so good and that's how i was okay. able to raise the money <laughs> uh, was that a sarcastic joke or that was the, 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 I, just joking yeah, yeah. no actually, no yeah yeah, yeah i agree so, um and uh, yeah so i i used to work on the search part so yeah. i still work on that yeah uh, and i help uh, 3m with that yeah well, it was yeah. fantastic eh? so yeah. and what about what about plans for gggr boats are you going to talk about what boats you're looking at or anything it's a, like it's that? A, no, no i i don't want to secret i don't want to uh, like let people in ontario know that i'm after their boats <laughs> and that's right. why they start hiking up the prices yeah yeah okay uh, good but, idea uh, yeah. but yeah um, so there is uh, two options yeah uh one is a suheli replica basically yeah yeah, yeah. um so that is going on uh, the footsteps of abilash yeah. when i yeah. decided get that a huge following if you could raise the money to build another one yeah i i wouldn't build one i would probably take a west sail and just oh, convert it, it? Look oh that's like a good that. idea yeah yeah uh so that is that is an option yeah uh because if i have to do it like how abilash has done it yeah uh or there'll be uh if you go up, go in on the list of boats there'll be a few north america specific boats so <laughs> just figure out which okay. one that is all right that's cool and um all right so that's probably um what what's the what's your biggest worry what's the, you know what's the biggest fear about at the moment it just entering the ggr you know like uh, what's the biggest challenge the biggest challenge yeah. uh I don't know. Uh, it's it's about what to do after the race. After the race. Yeah, that's that's uh that's always the biggest challenge. I think uh doing the race, I'll figure it out. Yeah. I'm not worried about that. Yeah. Um, the race itself once you're out on the sea, I I feel happy at home. I I, I almost threw up in the flight. Speak up, you don't have to. Do. I almost, it's a secret. <laughs> yeah. I almost threw up in the flight but I don't <laughs> like flying. I I'm much better on the boat. Flight sick. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um Yeah, the biggest worry is what happens to life after the race. Uh, really? Yeah, uh, that's interesting. I don't think uh, I love sailing. Yeah. Sailing is life for me. Yeah. So doing the race not a problem. Yeah. Getting to the start line. Yeah. I am organized enough to know I can get there. Yeah. Uh and I have people around me like Abhilash. Yeah, you've uh, got some good support will, there. Uh who will help me out. So I'm not worried about that. Yeah. It's about uh what after what after is that in the sense of what sort of job you get after or how it will have impact your life yes. like the effect yes. the change it's you where sure? will it take me where will uh, it take you yeah but why is that a worry it's the exciting part because you you know you can't go backwards uh it's it's it's, it's a, probably the unknown yeah it's the unknown the unknown uh, yeah, yeah you just don't know yeah but anyway it's, that's the future no one like controls that it's like in southern ocean you know what's going to happen it's yeah. going to be massive seas it's going to yeah. be storms Yeah. You know that. Yeah. Uh it's uh yeah it'll probably be some unknown. Yeah. Not a lot of unknown. Yeah. But in life after that it's like yeah. we like continue be part in a sailing business we like go back to my yeah. present job right now. Yeah, yeah. We like to completely something different. Yeah, well that's and, the that's the fun part. And I love that. doing everything. I love doing <laughs> new things. Uh yeah. uh I've been doing uh kart race I've been go kart racing in oh, Ontario. Yeah. Yeah. Uh 
I've been doing sailing. Uh, I'm learning how to kite surf. I just keep kite doing surf, yeah, yeah. yeah, keep mm. doing so many things. You might want to take a kite for an, a jury rig yeah. instead of a instead of a thing. I was actually planning to sneak <laughs> one. Not directed in. to you, Abolish, Tommy. You know, it's okay. <laughs> I was planning to sneak a kite in so I can go. No, those kites are legal. No, not but uh, you can't Either use one. them for sailing. <laughs> yeah. But if you lost your rig, you yeah. could use a kite jury rig. You know, if you wanted yeah. to. Um, anyway, that's but another I story. I can't. I'm going to stop revealing my secrets right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So that's pretty cool. So, so now that you've made the decision, uh, is it more of a nervous thing or is it a happy thing? Or like you, you're, you're a GGR 22 entrant. Uh, yeah. Decisions made too late now. You can't pull out. You've already paid your money, so you, you know, yeah. you can say goodbye to the money. But yep. you know, like, like you, you happy about it? Like, every, like you feel good, excited, or? Oh yes. Uh, anything to do with sailing. I'm yeah, very cool. happy. You're in. Uh, getting to do something like this. So I keep thinking about it. It's like, it's, uh, we just found a picture of a black hole. Yeah. The the universe is a billion. Yeah, yeah. Another one. Billion miles. Yeah, yeah. Billion light miles. Yep, yep. Big. Yep. And uh, our future generations will someday start going that far. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and as long as we're still here, I worry yeah. about all the bloody... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> anyway, that's another story. Uh, but then uh, for us, uh, a lot of people never even leave their home country or hometown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's the biggest thing we can do in this world. I yeah. can probably never be an astronaut now, but yeah. I can sail around the world. Well, look, I reckon, so, yeah, I reckon um, like you're Indian for the moment, you yeah. may roll over to Canadian, yeah. but boy, if you're Indian, um, the whole of India will be behind you. Oh, yeah. You know, like it, it's 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 cool. Um, yeah, lovely. What did you think when Tommy went over and lost the rigs and what was going through your mind when uh, that happened? So if you go to my Facebook and you see what I said over there, yeah. I said uh, my, my status on Facebook, because everyone was going crazy about, oh, Tommy's gone, Tommy's yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and my status was, uh, if anyone can come through that, it's yeah. Avilash, yeah, and exactly. he'll come through it smiling. Yeah, cool. So that was that was what I. That was the first thing I said when I knew about it. It's, okay. Yeah. We, we are survivors. Cool. Find well, all I can say, GG. This is yes. quite a conversation. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad you're in the GGR. Yes. You can have a long time living this down, eh? Yeah. Uh, in fact, I always try. To, I'm dealing with so many. Uh, so many people now, I'm trying to, you know, when you meet someone for the first time, you have a name association, and it was GoPro. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> how do you pronounce your full name? Gauro Shindi. Gauro Shindi. I'm dyslexic, yeah. by the way, so I have a real problem. So no yeah. offense, but I thought, right, I've got to think GoPro, and then go, go, and then fortunately he said, no, call me G. And I thought, GG, that's great. Welcome to the GGR. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so glad. <laughs> okay. yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. It, it's very exciting to see everyone coming up. So uh, thank yeah. you, Jean Jean. Thank you so much. I talk a lot.